Yo, Bell Fernberg on his way up to Morningwood, uh, enjoying the fall colors. And by colors, I mean gray. It's gray out. We're trying to get Anonymous D in the shot. He's back up here at Morningwood for a little bit of cast iron cooking fun. We're going to, uh, if you're the kind of person who has stove envy, this is the episode for you because Dave brought his winter well, which I'm trying to get in the shot, not successfully. So Dave brought his winter well, and I can't remember which model he has. I have the Nomad, which is the smaller one, and that's Dave's bigger one. But something, but something that's really funny is that we both have been sitting by the uh, solo stove so many times, the back of your head gets freezing cold. So Monday, I bought this and brought it up here. And Dave brought, let me see, he brought a little patio heater. So it's kind of funny. We each brought the same thing without even thinking about it. So here are the stoves from the front. Dave's is a three-legged model. It's got a quite a bit of bigger chamber to it than mine does. And it has a three and a half inch tube versus a two and a half inch, which is gonna, probably makes it work a lot better. So as you can probably tell, it's getting dark out. And once it gets dark out, it's really good to make sure that you have your headlamp ready to go. And to make sure that it's working correctly, the best way to test it is if you have a sergeant major handy. Hey, motherfucker! It's working! So it's been a while since Dave has been up here, and he requested that I not make anything cooler than what he makes, so I'm just going to make some ramen and this Polish hunter stew. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this baby open, which I'm trying to do behind the camera in the near dark and not slice myself open. Now the last one I had one of these was actually fantastic and had a bone in it. This is so cold it's just not possible to see it. Also, I'm trying to look through a viewfinder, so we'll find out in a minute. Oh, well, maybe this is, I don't know. Oh, that is warm. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my old canteen cup right here on the edge of the fire. I want you to make my noodles. No, oh, man, gloves are for ladies and uh, people to get cold. Yeah. <laughs> or don't want to burn their hands. Okay. I'm pre-warming my stew over the fire. My water is already hot. Dave's walking in front of my light. Thanks, buddy. Oh, we got steam. Go ahead and put my, uh, oh, geez, that was close. Hunter's pork right into the old noodles. It's basically pork and sauerkraut and one other thing off the ingredient list. Well, I've gone ahead and added my uh, pork to my rice and I think she's warmed up to the point I could actually eat this in about half an hour when it cools down. Dave's got to add a little more water to his pot because, uh, why Dave? I just want to, I'm not in a hurry to eat this second. I just want to make sure that those two MRE brisket entrees are completely heated up. And I just like watching this thing cook, work, and do its job. So they've been heating up for like 45 minutes. How many more minutes is it going to take? <laughs> oh, under the exaggeration rules being currently being applied to this. Uh, I'm going to let it go for about 15 more minutes. Okay. Dave's cursing over there while he makes dinners. Oh, shit, it's running everywhere. I just dumped a bunch of gravy on some cinder block. He's bragging about how glad he is Biden won. And so... <laughs> <laughs> it's on the video. How much you love Joe Biden. Oh, fuck. And anyhow, I'm going to have dinner of uh, Korean noodles <laughs> and Polish pork. That is a nice alliteration, by the way. Here we go with the uh, Polish Hunter Stew with the uh, noodles of ramen. Hopefully there'll be no firm markage. There's a lot hot. of steam going on. It is yeah. hot. Well, it was on the fire, you know, and it's, so. And it's 39 degrees out here right now. If you're not by the fire. If you're by the fire, it's like 60, but just out here right now, it's 39. Yeah, the noodles are hot. They taste really good, though. Mm hmm That's sauerkraut, man. I never invented sauerkraut. Big win for you, buddy. I'm going with the Germans. Yeah, but, oh, the but specifically? Yeah. This is really good canned uh, 
the stew too. There's no yeah. There's no nasty weird chunks of stuff. I mean, it's really good quality meat. The sauerkraut is, you know, Man, this speaks is, for itself. And also, it's ice cold out here, so yeah, it really feels good Anything going down. Warm feels good. And now we're gonna try Dave's dinner in a second here. So here is Dave's brisket and rice. Well, the brisket is from a uh, MRE. Yes, and the rice is just some regular store Just regular rice, yeah, store-bought rice. Microwave. Anyhow, this is the way it should always come because I've had this a few times. The brisket I know is gonna be amazing and it always needs rice or not garlic mashed potatoes. Because that sauce is delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, let me bag up for the old taste test. You guys have seen this like a thousand times, unless this is your first video, which by the way, thanks for showing up. About nine minutes into this video. Oh, that is good. Mm. Better late than never. It's so smoky. It's just one of the best entrees Yeah, it ever. is the best entree. 